Increasingly, healthcare involves the development of technology for diagnosis and monitoring, as well as surgery and other forms of treatment. Bioengineering encompasses many technologies, imaging, neuromuscular devices, and cardiovascular devices. Technology supports drug delivery and the development of artificial tissues and organs. Communications and computing are deployed in the delivery of healthcare. Advances in image processing, instrumentation, sensors, MEMS, biorobotics, bioinformatics, and nanotechnology are driving innovation. Most of the universities, their program for bioengineering, program for biomedical engineering, is in virtually most their schools are attracting the very best students in undergraduate level. So it is a very uh, attractive, very promising area. Um, now is because it's bridging their biology and medicine with engineering physical science and uh, lots of innovations are being made so I think it's a great career opportunity for our young student. There are a lot of exciting things going on in the computer field and, and some of them <laughs> we're confronted every day that we all run around now with our PDAs and our cell phones and uh, electronic access to everything. I think that there is a good application in this for medical records so a person could actually keep his or her own medical record on a chip or a PDA or whatever which would help wherever you are in the world if we could get a standard medical record which we still don't have that you could then go into an unknown hospital clinic or see a physician who would then know everything about your health history. The neuroengineering field is starting to enter into clinical application. As an example, one of the major companies such as Medjanic, it's a big medical device company. They have a deep brain stimulation branch which has a couple hundred million dollars in business per year. Um, it, therefore, it's entering clinical application currently. Employers are looking for both technical and non-technical skills. I think that in addition to really highly technically qualified people, they're looking for people with good soft skills. They've got to be able to do documentation, they've got to have good people skills, they've got to be able to communicate with people across cultural lines and across engineering disciplines, and that's really important. It's a great field for women. Um, we really uh, encourage women. We uh, have a lot of training programs within some of the companies that I work with uh, to teach um, across the board uh, entry level people to bring their skills up, but it's a great field for women. I'd like to see more women in engineering disciplines. All regions of the world have uh, uh, different uh, opportunities for students in the area of biomedical engineers. In particular, I would say that in the United States, there is a uh, 50-50% of possibility of either attending at academia, working in academia, or working at a hospital environment. In developing countries in general, there is a, a high need of biomedical engineers at the hospital settings. Uh, public health is a, is a major uh, issue in Latin America, and uh, so most of the posts for uh, biomedical engineers are in the hospital environment. When it comes to the individual, the challenge is to find the right opportunity. I think some of the biggest challenges and issues facing gold members is that they don't really know where they fit in in terms of the society or in terms of even their own careers. A lot of people are trying to figure out where they fit in, meet the right people, uh, start learning the right things, and it's a very difficult time in their lives. Future for the world, for young people, I, I think is spectacular. There are some short-term issues because the uh, biomedical engineering uh, revolution is happening so fast that industries haven't matured as fast as young people um, have flocked to the area. But in the long run, this is the half-century century of uh, biomolecular uh, uh, sciences and technologies and, and biomolecular world and the opportunities are going to explode greatly.